Are you hearing this for the first time? Prim, 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 prim. I do this for the cloud. Episode 129. I do this for the cloud. Damn, son. Where'd you find this shit? From Jesus Cameron with Matthew. Welcome aboard. Yo, this episode 129 of From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram featuring Carlos. The show neither about Shrooms nor about Skyrim. Those are just the motherfucking parameters. We got Kat up in the building today, you know what I'm saying? This episode is brought to you by Sandbar, Coconut Grove, 3064 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133, Home of the Fish Taco, Happy Hour, Monday to Friday, 3 to 7, Taco Tuesdays, Tacos Half Off. Sandbar, Coconut Grove. This episode also brought to you by The Last Carrot at 3133 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133. They're open Monday through Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Family owned since 1975, your go-to place for fresh, wholesome eats, The Last Carrot. Uh, yo, uh. 21, can you do something for me? Uh. I do this for the cloud. (laughs) (laughs) Motherfucker! You never know. You never, you see how that just turned into that like that? Nah, that, that, you fucking got up in that groove too tight you gotta keep it going yeah no no that's a good I, it's a it's it's for later i can mean you want me to keep it going right now or we could just no let's let's do it we'll do it a little all later. right all right all right you know how y'all doing today how you doing cat oh i'm doing great thanks for asking you like me you sipping on that monster can no. smoking on that contraband mm. you know i'll be watching crunchy roll uh, go, you know, I'll be watching Golden Boy on Crunchyroll. That's the show right there. Eating on a Lunchable. Very educational. <laughs> Sex education. So, uh, Kat, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, you've been on the show before. I have, yeah. Okay. It was when you guys first started, but, you know, it's long, been long a fat time. minute since I've been on here, but it's been it's nice to be back. So, yeah, just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, for all the people that don't know you, Kat's like, mm, Hiram, your nose is much smaller than it was before. <laughs> 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 um, what happened to your hair? Me, because I'm Hiram. Oh, I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. And my nose is smaller than Hiram's. No, but you know, life's been good. Just, uh, I've been working at Yard House. That's been really good. Just chilling. Uh, just trying to get my life together. That's really it. Is there Explosions any, like, for getting your life together. <laughs> is there any? Uh, is there any like hobbies or things that you're really into uh, besides going to work forty <laughs> hours a week? Truthfully, in like my downtime, I really just like read. I watch anime, just the good stuff. I'm kind of a boring person, unfortunately. Okay, yeah. I mean, I could have told you that without you telling me. It's fine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I have kidding. nothing exi- exciting going on in my life, but just, you know, <laughs> focusing on me, just trying to make myself happy. That's what's up. That's what's up. Self-care, guys. That's Hell what we got to yeah. do, all right? Self-care. Mm-hmm. And self-love. Definitely. But don't say bad things about yourself. That's a new thing of mine. Don't speak negatively, negatively about yourself because your body does, I mean, your brain doesn't know the difference between a joke and what's real. So subconsciously, it's being taken in. It's something that I'm practicing. Yeah, I'm also good things I've been, take time. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been seeing that making the rounds on social media. I don't really care for it because you don't say bad things about yourself. Sure, I do. No, you don't. You don't speak negatively uh, negatively about yourself. I've never heard you say like I'm so dumb. 
well, maybe that, you know, maybe, you know, not that exactly. I've never heard you say something negative about yourself. You're, I don't think you're uh, like pessimistic towards yourself. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're right. But also, too, like, I, I don't really buy into like that or like the manifestation crap either. If you think, if you want to have a good day and you're like, you start off the day right. It Yo, then just have a good fucking day. It's, <laughs> I, I mean, if people just have to understand that they're able to conceptualize their day from the beginning, you know, like, if I like this morning I woke up and I woke up late for work and I was rushing and I was stressing. You I got woke up like that? What? You woke up like that? Yeah, I woke up like this. Flawless. And I was super stressed out when I woke up this morning. I got to work. I was fucking freaking out. And that's just the way I started my day. And that, that was a bad way to start my day. Yo, but it's like even when I'm running late, I, I don't uh, care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I do. Exactly. Yeah, I do care. That's the problem. Okay, well, there's there's not much I could do about that. I feel like I don't know, Matt. Like whenever, I've never really seen him stressed out or anything either. Like he just he seems very cool, calm, and collected most of the time. Yeah, I'm a fucking shitstorm. I feel that. I'm anxiety driven. I just go home and, and masturbate furiously, and then I just walk out the house and, and you know I'm just cool, calm, and collected. I haven't done that in a while. Maybe that's a trick. <laughs> I need to try that. Yeah, because now I'm on this new regimen of diet and supplements and no marijuana. I don't, I've been smoking weed nonstop for 15, 20 years. 15 years. Nonstop. And I last week was the last time I did. I am, I am not smoking marijuana right now. Wow. And it's, yeah, it's fucking crazy. And, you know, I'm just trying to have a kid, so. I, I, it's a happy <laughs> thing. It's a happy <laughs> thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It is a good thing. But let me tell you, like, I'm actually more capable of articulating. Like, I, you know, of articulating how I'm feeling. Um, I feel a lot more present. Uh, even my Spanish is, like, tighter, you know? I've been, like, I kind of dove on Reddit sometimes. And, like, I've seen a lot of people, like, I've gone down threads and, like, you know, after me giving up smoking, just, like, things have gotten a lot better for me. Like, a lot of people said, like, while they smoked and stuff, like, those years, like, everything just felt very cloudy and hazy. And then after that, they just kind of got, like, this new light in life. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean, I mean even just the, the thought, the initiative of mm -hmm. just trying to do something better for yourself, you know, just so you <clears throat> for the future, you know. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm doing it. It's about. Time. That's right. It is about goddamn time. But you know, I wanna, I wanna have a future with my wife, mm -hmm. have a kid, um, and just make the right steps to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna quit smoking weed forever. Once I have the, once I, once she's pregnant, I'm all like, <laughs> that's it, burn up, <laughs> let go. Um, <laughs> but uh, but no, yeah. But I think that's a good like goal to set for yourself. You know, if you just wanna. Make some improvements in life. As soon as you knock there. a chick up, automatic dirt bag. Yeah, and then another, <laughs> and then like another thing, and the way I'm doing it, you know, I'm sure there's other, th there's other things I want to work on too, but I'm not gonna do them all at once because mm -hmm. that's impossible. So this month, I'm gonna do a month by month. This month, I focus on not smoking weed. Next month, maybe I'll focus on maybe starting to exercise. You know. And then by the end of the month, you see the changes and see if it's worth it. Does it work for you? What is the what are the pros? What are the cons? I'm sure it's going to be a shitload more pros than cons. But yeah, that's uh. No, I think that's a really nice. That's so healthy. It's yeah. a new time for it's a new day for me. Yeah. Be growing out here. Mm hmm. Is it weird that me saying these things? Is it tripping you out? No, I think it's. I personally think it's nice. Matthew. Yo, you're like brand new, brand new. Brand new. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to drink earlier. Said but new <laughs> <year. laughs> <laughs> 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 that is, I can do cocaine. <laughs> Leg <you out>. <laughs> 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 Call my boy up, Rene. <laughs> Come through. <laughs> I said I was going to stop smoking weed, not crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I was just, I was, I was, uh, I was just talking to somebody like, I was explaining to somebody what freebasing is. What's freebasing? I don't even know what that is. Freebasing is like smoking cocaine. It's pretty much like crack. Mm. Like, yeah. You can do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Does that even get you, like, high? Yeah. You know, like, I remember, like, when I was uh, out, like, working nights and stuff at, at like, more dingier places <laughs> than the high class es establishments whatever i remember like people like uh putting coke like in their cigarettes yeah cocoa puff 
Is no, I heard it called something else though. We call me and Eric call Co- it Cocoa Puff. Cocoa Puff. I had a, Eric and I. I used to have an old like <laughs> old head dude like that. He was like, "You never done that before." I was like, "No." That's good. It's delicious. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I, I I like how you wanted to be grammatically correct while you talk about like, <laughs> smoking co- cocaine in a cigarette. No, Eric and I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eric and I were. Yeah, he would call, he called it. It's oh. called cocoa puff. See, when stuff sounds cool, it makes me want to do it because I love cocoa puffs. <laughs> 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 so do I, my friend. <laughs> so do I. <clears throat> but yeah, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. nobody. Yo, where's that from? Uh, Dodgeball. Oh, ben Stiller. Oh, true that. You know, I was watching Heavyweights. You ever seen Heavyweights? No. It's a movie about, like, a fat camp, and uh, Ben Stiller, like, buys it, and he's, like, a freak of nature, like, health nut trying to get these kids to lose weight. Oh, no. And he pl- <laughs> he plays the same role. <laughs> he's, like, he's like essentially the same guy from Dodgeball. Mm-hmm. Like, his character. Sh- it's hilarious. You should see it. Yo, there is a song called Heavyweights from the 90s off, off like, a Violator compilation track album uh, with, like, that goes so hard. It's got, like, Big Pun, Fat Joe, MJG. Yeah. That sounds like the lunch order for that session must have been hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Man got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I like imagine a big pun like I want bananas and the could be dances and the lasagna on the back of that with a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I curse your family and then I eat all the food. <laughs> R.I.P. Big pun. He was one of the he was one of the greatest. Dude. Yeah, for sure. He's nasty. You hear I mean I've talked about him all the time. Yeah. It was always talking about like the all the old school rappers like Rakim, uh, Big L, yeah, LL Cool J, Big L, LL Cool J is like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why are you looking at your I lips? I do so this much? for the clout. Hey, I I I I, 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 do this for the clout. For the glow. The for, glow. Is, the what, glow. I do this for the glow. Clout. Oh, for the clout. Gotcha. What is clout? Uh, it's like when you got the juice. Okay. You got the juice now. <laughs> What's up? Uh, yo, uh, talking about Cocoa Puffs. Pu- puffs. Papa. <laughs> talking about Cocoa Puffs. Papa. <laughs> Papa. Papa, do you hear, hear me? me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, I-, I seen this headline out of Miami. Uh, recently, uh, the restaurant tours. <laughs> yeah, uh, do do you remember um like with that restaurant ball and chain like they had that beef with the city of Miami said they're being like unfairly targeted. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So the former Miami city manager testified that the city was targeting certain little Havana businesses. Uh, quote, there was instances that I can't recall where Mendez gave us a list of properties to research and we went back to her and said, these are all fullest properties. And then she came back the next day or a couple of days later with more properties and said, here, I threw in some non-fuller properties so it doesn't look like we're piling on. Dang, piece of shit Miami. And then they're asking him, did you make a memo at that time? And he said, I did because I thought it was just, it was very improper. He said he recorded all the instances uh, like that. Was that person found dead the next day? <laughs> Yo, because the corruption in Miami runs deep. Uh, I saw I saw someone there on Reddit talking about uh, like changing the Miami logo, and they were like, "Yo, it should, should be like two hands uh, shaking and on top of a table while there's money being exchanged <laughs> under, under, <laughs> underneath the table." That's sad. Uh, it's, yeah, it's more sad than anything. Yeah, fucking Joe uh, Carollo. And, you know, like, like honestly, if, if I didn't follow Billy Corbin on Instagram, like, I wouldn't even be aware of half the shit. That Thanks, goes Billy. On my... You saw that Tampa Bay cop that was on the golf cart? Uh, I mean, the Tampa, like, the police. Oh, yeah, 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 I watched that, too. I watched oh that, too. Oh, my God, yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, so the, the, the city manager that... The for, this former city manager that testified is Emilio Gonzalez, and apparently, uh, 
the city attorney Mendez. Emilio. Um, he basically revealed that uh, the government led by the commissioner, Joe Carollo, and city attorney Victoria Men- Mendez engaged in a consp- criminal conspiracy, acted like a mafia and racketeering organization to target uh, businesses and political rivals and violate their private property rights. And apparently uh, Mendez said, uh, pasar la mano. What, what's that mean? Pasar la mano. Pasar la mano is like to 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 pass your hand, like to to soothe them, like to pet. Oh, just like just just comfort them a little bit. Isn't that what it means? Yeah, I would say. Pasar la mano. Mm-hmm. Yeah. P- apparently, he said Mendez. Uh, Mendez acting like a mob lawyer tried to discourage the city manager from testifying about their crimes, telling him that Commissioner Carolla was quote upset. And Gonzalez should make them happy. Pasa la mano. Yeah, just like, just tell them what they want to hear so they shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. I mean, so they be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up, man. Yeah, this place is the worst. Man, well, you know, it's uh, you never know what it's like to b- be in that position until you're there and you have that power, you know? And it gets, yeah, it could, it could run to your head and, you know... Yo, I I can't stop thinking about the the building that uh, partially collapsed, and yeah, then they so found out that the the building inspector dude who died in two thousand seventeen, <laughs> yeah. they've been using his stamp yeah. to sign off on uh on building inspections on building yeah, inspections sure. for fucking five five years after, and then I seen that apparently they made some new thing where like if a building because apparently, like, like if a building doesn't make the repairs required fast enough, now they're going to put the demolish order, and you can't get no more extensions. I, I, I think I was looking at this on Reddit, and it's, like, and it's, like, specifically targeting, like, around, like, the Little Havana area, where, like, for, like, one, I think the dude that posts on Reddit or, like, in the article or some shit, he had, like, uh... You know, like some like efficiency type shit he built in his backyard, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's not really up to code. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like this whole thing with like the Airbnbs and then the housing and, you know, fucking companies are buying up all the homes. Yeah, it's also to make room for new developments and p- a lot of uh, palms get greased, you know, like in those situations and in, in those giant uh, developments, especially people with the uh, with, uh, real estate, you know, on the rise here in Miami and I don't think it's slowing down anytime soon. Obviously. They're looking for new developments. They're looking for new places to put people in for more fucking traffic. Yo, it's insane how much they're building up of like homestead and stuff too because of it. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't care about homestead. <laughs> nah. No, but it does. It, there's plenty of land out there. Yo, it, it's just like, the, it's like these, these people do, you know, doing all this shady shit, like, and right now, everybody got an opinion, but nobody got the fucking moral high ground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, no, yeah, definitely. And, man, it's, it's, and then apparently we're going into a recession. Man, this is depressing. Are we, go- are we going into a recession? Apparently, that's what I, people have uh, been saying. Like, like all, all year, they've been saying we're going into a recession. And then some people say we end a recession. Everybody broke. Young, but G- Young Jeezy's best album. It's like, I feel, I feel like if... If uh if we was in it, you know, we would know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever. I'm all right. I I, I was trying to I was trying to do a, a, a pun uh innuendo there, but it didn't really pay off. It's all good. It's all right. It's all good. I'll be all right. But yeah, with the cost of, with the cost of housing in Miami, I have a lot of friends moving out. Friends moving to Orlando, higher moving, you know. I think it's I think it's fucked. It's pretty fucked. Well, luckily, you know, I pay a mortgage. I don't. I don't have a, a landlord that's gonna raise my shit. Are we dreaming? No, we're not. This is sadly real. no. But yeah, yo, I I had a Mandela effect moment the other day. Does that ever happen to you guys? Mm-hmm. Bernstein, Bernstein bears. It happened with me and Mean Girls. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. How so? There's this one scene where Regina George, it's like the costume party and she's walking into like the, like she's walking into the scene and she's wearing like a, I forgot what color it was. I think it was like pink or whatever. And then like I was watching it the other day and it was black and I was like, I always remember it being pink or something else, not black. Mm. 
she's something. like a bunny or something. Yeah, she's wearing a Playboy outfit. Slut. Super sexy slut. Yeah. Wait, so it, you thought it was pink, but it was it's actually black. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I've sworn all my life it was always pink. It's a glitch in the simulation. It mm-hmm. is. It's a multiverse crossing. Yo, have you ever heard Neil deGrasse Tyson talk about the possibilities of us living in a simulation? Yeah. I mean, I've heard I've I've heard that theory from other people as well. I it's like when when Neil talks, he's like it's like he's talking to me like I I start to get things I didn't get before. He's a magician with his words. Oh. Um, but what? he could be a cyborg. <laughs> he could be part of the simulation. Yo, he he was on Brooklyn Nine Nine. He made a cameo. Yo, like, like, like that motherfucker is like the full package. Like he's a like physically and mentally. Like he was on Brooklyn Nine Nine, and he was seeing he was in the gym with Terry Crews, and he was just fucking squatting two plates. And he has a big dick too. Casually, that's the whole package. That's crazy. Smart with a giant Johnson. I wouldn't be surprised. No, not at all. If he had like a, a 12 incher. A third arm. Around. <laughs> <laughs> 12 incher around. <laughs> that, that, that thing got his own doctorate. <laughs> He's like, well, uh, actually, we call this a throbbing hog. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he'd probably be talk, talking about it with the proper proper scientific term. He's like, uh, it's a well endowed penis. <laughs> genitalia. Genitalia. Okay, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stupid guys in a room. It's too much testosterone for me. Yeah. Well, actually, apparently, I need more, so so I can make a kid. Damn. Yeah, I know. Talk that to my to my uh, my what's it called my fertility doctor or whatever. Mm-hmm. So you actually have a fertility doctor? Yeah, and he's like touches me like crazy. It's so weird. He was all like, he's like I'm touching <laughs> my leg and shit. And he's like, oh, you know, he's like, he's like, oh, we're gonna get you. I was like, whoa. He's <laughs> <laughs> giving you the oh full rundown. God. Yeah, just my wife's looking at me like, <laughs> she's like, I know, it's very touchy. <laughs> And she sat up on the thing, like there's a chair there, and I'm like, are they gonna? <laughs> and she's like, no. I was like, damn it. <laughs> this, is, this is my cooking moment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, easy on her. You could take her on the block, but make sure you bring her back. <laughs> I don't wanna see any scratches on her. <laughs> it's not a car, it's my wife, guys. <laughs> I already took a picture of the mileage, so I know I know, I know what's on. There. It wasn't she wasn't able to blow raspberries with that down there, like she was before. You know, <laughs> that's a queef. You remember when Eminem was like, "Put a balloon inside your pussy, we can blow it up." Oh, he's good. Yo, speaking of having kids, apparently Earth's global population is set to pass eight billion <laughs> for the fir- <laughs> for the first time in our history. That's how much money I'm trying to make this year. Yo, eight I'm billion. trying to make eight billion dollars. Hey, trying to make eight billion dollars. Uh, I'm trying to make twenty at least an hour. Oh, um, is that twenty k? No, that's twenty gays. That's the way I like them. The way I paved my way. I have two brothers that like them. With well endowed slongs, I won't keep this long. And hey, where I do it, that's where I belong. Hey, you already know I, I, yeah, the I, I, name I, I, of the song, and I'm a uh, oh, keep it up. going, <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it going, and then, then maybe I'll slow it down and free throw it. Uh, yo, it's Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. I'm Good sure thing he isn't Skyrim here, I'm tired of him. Matthew and Hiram. All right, maybe we need a little melody in it. Uh, yes. No need to stress. I'm not smoking the best anymore. But maybe I'm thinking about making tips and staring at some tits and making some 
of the rest in peace. Hey, guess what? I go to Gap to buy some fleece. Old Navy, a damn that fit is wavy. Why that girl won't date me? It's because I have this thing on my finger. Oh, the way it lingers. I turn that girl into an opera singer. Mm, it's double digits, the way I fidget. Oh yeah, I fuck with every kind of woman, even a midget. Uh, it's legit. I'm trying to make this bread instead. Hey. Thank you. Yes. Blew it up, just like the bathroom. And my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and like that balloon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see how I keep going? The bars might get a little bit better. Yeah, try, try to make that bread instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Did you want to jump on? Nah, I'm good. Okay. Not that time. No? No. Just stay on my back. I should play that last one I made, right? Which last one? The one from before? The one that I posted recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you live with your boyfriend? I do. And what does he do? He also works with me. Nice. <laughs> I literally met him at work, funny enough. Yeah, that's how I met my wife. Well, I knew my wife before that, but we still... We Yo, because when you in adult worlds, you're going to meet people. Yeah. It's go. impossible. But that's where we started fucking. Yo, like, you watch a movie and motherfuckers be meeting each other at the coffee shop and the bookstore and shit. It ain't like that out here. But yeah, I met him at work and we've been living together for a while. It's been really nice. So, uh, did you have to keep it a secret at first? Um, I just didn't really tell anyone because I like my coworkers. They're nice, but. People just love to talk, and I don't really like my business being out there like that. So, oh, of course not. So people just slowly found out, like one by one. They're like, oh, "No way!" Did people stop hitting on you? Yeah. And they're like, "Damn it! <laughs> I fucking slept on that one." Mm-hmm. <laughs> like when all when people started finding out, they actually came up to me and they're like, "Are you guys actually dating?" And I was like, "Yes." No, it's a figment of like, your imagination. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all. <laughs> 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 Are we dreaming? <sighs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake me up. I'm fucking sleeping. Yo, so uh recently uh <clears throat> co- this is a tweet uh at Nate in the Wild said Colorado voted yes to reintroducing wolves and yes to legalizing psychedelics. The perfect combination. Wolves? Wolves yeah. and psychedelics doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> just imagine a bunch of wolves like tripping balls on acid. And I just saw that and I thought that's the perfect uh co patriot to Cocaine Bear, the movie coming out. Acid Wolf. I know ne- you sent me this. Are you the one that sent me the the cocaine bear? Yes, thing? because I'm so excited. It's the movie I never knew I needed. Please tell me more. You, did, I, did I not send you the trailer? No. Because I also posted about it a bunch of times, too. All right, so it's based on a true story. Obviously, the movie embellishes. is a bit of a, like a horror movie. Mm-hmm. But in 1985, uh, a plane that was trafficking uh, cocaine for Cocoa Puffs <laughs> 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 uh, had to unload, and they dropped uh, like 40 kilos in a forest in like Tennessee. And a bear ate it. Oh. And OD'd. Oh. But, bro, the trailer for the movie, it's like the bear is, like, fucking chasing an ambulance. And, and it's goes like, on a, just a, a rage. Yeah. It's like That's, Crank, but with a bear. Yeah. That's crazy. It actually sounds good. Do you think Sharknado is, like, the first one to, like, set it off? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Have now, you, after Cocaine Bear, I want to see Acid Wolf. Acid Wolf. Acid Wolf. I think we should sell the idea. You, sh- you, you sh- should sell the idea. But he just said it on the air. Someone's going to steal it. It's, you know, I'm I'm manifesting. Yeah. Nice. All right. Let's see. Hey, this one's for Acid Wolf. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I saw Acid. I saw a Wolf. Then the wolf took the acid, it got plastered, it was nasty, don't ask him, he's passing gas in, you already know, things were drastic, it just like Jurassic Park, made of plastic, 
Animatronics, smoking on a hooked on phonics. Oh, that's Dr. Dre's way of spelling chronic. Yo, then the bass fucking drops it down. <laughs> then the bass drops now. Acid wolf. 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 Pass that wolf. You hogging that shit. Listen to me spit. I need a little rip. Did a little acid, a little ecstasy, then pressing me. As a wolf. As a wolf. Majestic creature. So majestic. Wow. Acid wolf. Damn wolf, where'd you get that acid? From cocaine bear, obviously, idiot. <laughs> Yo, those drum fills are fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, that's like um a digital delay. It's actually analog. Sorry. Yo, those analog. those drums are like crunchy. I love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they're like extremely processed. <sighs> like our food. <laughs> and that's what the song's really about. <laughs> our processed foods. <laughs> Glucose is just another word for sugar, bitch. We're going to have to run this one short today, huh? Nah. Better not. Um, Yo, you guys know Ice Spice? Munch? Yeah. Yeah. You thought I would fill you? <laughs> Wait, you, you, you don't know Ice Spice? I feel like I do. You haven't heard that song? You thought I was feeling you? Yeah. Crunch, munch. Ah. Let's have lunch. I'm on Went to a yard house to have some brunch. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have brunch, right? Not anymore, thank God. Why? You don't like short orders? No. You have all day, you have six orders already, of eggs. Honestly, it's already bad enough. Like our, what's it called? Our happy hour. It's from three to six. And over half of our appetizers are half off. Nice. Go crazy. I'm on my way. I fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Are Are you a uh, no? Is your boyfriend a munch? Oh, he be munching. He be munching. <laughs> so he's a Stanley Steamer. Oh yeah, the friendliest. I love to hear it. Mm-hmm. So he's vegetarian. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 but don't be no, sorry. Be better. No, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, but but much is when you eat it from the biz <coughs> app. Oh, really? Yeah, man, that's where you have zero dignity because the booty hole is like right here. And like, dude, no, but it's when you eat the booty hole, right? Am I tripping? No, she doesn't know. She doesn't want ice spice. You thought I was feeling you? <laughs> 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 Apparently, Drake wasn't feeling her. He wanted to get twenty one. Can you do something for me? I don't know. They, they said that bar could have been about Saweetie. But uh, the reason I bring up Ice Spice is because recently she said, we got like three fan base names. Figure it out by noon. And I love all three of them. They make me want to be an Ice Spice fan. All right. Th- these are the three potential names she put for her fan base. Munchkin. That's cute. Spice Cabinet. Mm-mm. Which... But it's like clever. Oh, they're one of the spices in the spice cabinet. Yeah, because she's ice spice spice cabinet. I, I I love clever stuff like that. And the last one was spice cadet, which <laughs> which no, it, those things are clever. No, it's, a, it's <laughs> the a, second one no, was no, more no, clever than no, the no, third. No, in my it, opinion, it's a sleeper because it's actually cool, like space cadet, spice cadet. I I got the pun, <laughs> <laughs> loud and clear. The first two were cuter than the last one, in my opinion. Ice spice. Um, All right, so but, you know what Slipknot says, right? What? What Slipknot calls their fans? No, what? Ma- maggots. <laughs> I, I, I have heard that. Yeah, they're maggots. <laughs> so I, I I vote Spice Cadet. What do you guys say? Oh man, they're all they're like Munchkin. Like Munchkin, yeah, that one's cute. All right, Munchkin it is. The other day I had to whoop the fucking Munchkin's ass. Yo, cat, when when he's eating from the back, you gotta c- call him a Munchkin. <laughs> 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 he's already my little Munchkin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get home. That's beautiful. <laughs> when I get home, I'm gonna I'm gonna be my wife's munchkin. 
<laughs> She's probably ovulating. Oh. Yeah, so it's I gotta put in the work. Uh <laughs> and let me tell you, my libido my like my libido and also my energy when having sex, like performance wise, is ten times better. Since you stop smoking Since weed. Since I stop smoking weed. Interesting. Yeah, you don't even smoke. I wonder if it like <laughs> <laughs> you. You should already be there. I wonder if it like seriously like it could affect like your hormone, your hormones, or something like that. Uh, absolutely. That's interesting. Well, for men, it lowers their sperm count mm-hmm. exponentially. I might have been shooting blanks even before I was fucking smoking. <laughs> it's like a movie set; nobody gets hurt. <laughs> 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 I mean, unless Alec Baldwin is there too soon, too soon, too soon. Too Why? Soon. Uh, elaborate. Oh no, it, no that that the the lady got killed on the movie set a few months ago. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because he was shooting. He was, he was not shooting sh- a gun, and he thought he was shooting blanks. They were Yo, doing like a, a like a test thing, and he was like supposed to be shooting like a fire mo- firearm on set, and instead of it being loaded with blanks, it had actual bullets in it. Yo, but I was reading that like the chick that was the the armorer. I feel like I I I just murdered that word, armorer. Sure, Ar- armorist. Sure, a more the person that was in charge of the guns. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, my fucking vocabulary is not all there today. So uh, he's in jail. Yo, no, like yo, like it's one of those things where it's like a tragic accident. Like Bruce Lee? Mm-hmm. That was a government conspiracy. Easy, bro. I want to keep the show going. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we should do some meditation today. Mm, all right, let me set it up. Give me one second. Do you have something that you want to... No, I was just, we haven't done it in a while. Uh, we, uh, we, oh, we do, oh, we didn't do it last time. You're right. Oh, yo, you know what we should do? Because I, I actually have a bunch of headlines. You you should like sound soundtrack and I'll do the news. Uh, no, you don't like it? I, I just have to like find the right sound for it. Oh. It's not just one, two, three. All right, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, I, I, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to get on it like that. I was just, I was just having ideas and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was just, I was just airing it out. Oh, okay, not for right now. No, what, what you do is easy. Anyone could do it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're a fucking prodigy. You're a genius. You're special. You're beautiful. Stunning. Don't, don't, pa- don't patronize me. <laughs> <laughs> Here I got it. Is this gonna drop? Yeah. Damn girl, you know what's up. I'm trying to do it. Yeah, in your butt. Maybe the first time, might be the last time. Let's try it anyways. Let's try it anyways. Yo, listen to me, girl. I'm trying to print your butt. Hey, maybe, maybe that's what's up. It might hurt, but we could take our time just to make it squirt. Uh, trying to take care of you. Put it in the poo-poo hole. That's how you hit the soul. Then I'ma pack this bowl. Just playing, ain't smoking weed. I'm just trying to get in between those cheeks. Into the brown hole. Your brown eye, your third eye. I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> but it has to be hard, because if it's kind of soft, then it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, mm-hmm. I, I like when you rapping and you start explaining stuff <laughs> like, <laughs> like Yeah, yeah. Like I just give up on rapping. <laughs> I just I'm like, wait, they need like, to know what's going on. <laughs> like instructions one, two, three. Okay, brown hole, looking for the brown holes. Gotta be hard, can't be soft, cause this is what's gonna happen. It was great. In a world where people have no idea well, no idea what they're doing <laughs> on a podcast. In a place. Where nobody has any idea what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this summer, it's the podcast you've been waiting for. 
Fruit Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. From Shrooms. That was a meditation. That was like a movie trailer. That was a movie trailer. I loved it. In a place. Well, that's I used to do that for work. Because I, I, no one knew what they were doing. In a place where no one has any idea what they're doing. They just fucking double sat me, man. I already have three tables. In a world <laughs> where the manager has no idea what they're doing. Bro, I need to get this comp voided. <laughs> Story of my life. They're asking me for this check. I can't give it to them unless I get this comp This summer. And then the name of the movie is <laughs> Double Sat. <laughs> can you explain what double sat means uh basically when they seat you with like one with two tables basically two tables or more at the same time and how is that supposed to be you're supposed to have like a you're, they sit you with one table you get like a little break interlude so you can introduce yourself to the table get What's them the all big set deal? up they can just lap it up no nah, bro because then there's always that one person um excuse me why can't you help me over here <laughs> yeah. i need your help don't ignore them you need i need you i need you <laughs> They don't need you. I need you. You know, there was a time where other servers helped other servers. No, now it's every man for himself. Or woman. Or woman. Or, don't they, or them. We don't discriminate. Either. Or a, z a zer. A z. A zer is your zer. What? A z -z -z there's a new, there's a new, <laughs> like, uh, z I'm a, you know, I'm either z or zem. Or you never, you never heard of that? Like, it's a new, uh, new, uh, what's it called? Pro uh, pronouns. pronouns. I don't identify as him or her. I I, I uh, identify as Zim. Zim. Some shit like that. I know, it's dumb. Uh, that is dumb! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not dumb. If you believe in it, that's nice. Zim Zimma. Uh, in a world. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. I didn't have it ready, man. Just fire me already. I can Hiram, can you hear me? Hiram, can you? <laughs> Today, we look inward and we give thanks. This is our meditation time on From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram with Kat. You're taken on a journey as you meditate and look inward with deep breaths in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> now we are in a calm state of mind with the ability to articulate our inward reflections and give thanks Today, we are thankful for the corrupt Miami piece of shit government. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love Miami. It's I. It's I. It's I. Also, we give thanks to Art Basel traffic for the 45 minutes I was on the MacArthur Causeway. I peed into a water bottle. Calmly, I was able to not get any in my fucking seat. And my $40 Ubers. <laughs> Yo, wild, right? <laughs> Insane. Wild. Inhale. Exhale. Excuse me. <laughs> this is really nice, isn't it? So nice. So calming. So peaceful. Damn, son. Let it rain. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> We are meditating. We not masturbating. We ain't smoking weed. It's called abstinence. I'm asking this. Are you passing this? Yeah, we having this. Yo, let's do it. That's our meditation for today. I do this for the clout. For the clout. He has yeah. an accent. Yo, you kind of snapped at the end, son. I know. That was fucking hard. We should wait a second. Right, now it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell, but don't laugh at me. <laughs> my wife's happy with it. I love you, baby. Take my word. Yeah. It's there. It's all there. It's all there. <laughs> Yo, like, 
the meditation just it makes my blood pressure just drop it like it's hot. You know what I'm saying? That's good. That's the point. That is the point of it. Yeah. No, the point is inner peace, guys. No. <sighs> I do this for the clout. So it's uh it's it's that season. I see you have the Garfield tree up. It's a Charlie Brown Charlie tree. Charlie Brown. Even I knew that. You never seen the Charlie Brown Christmas special? I did, but there's also a piece Yo, of the, shit Garfield tree. <laughs> don't, don't get so defensive. You're gonna see it now. <laughs> <laughs> Stop yelling at me. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. <laughs> oh, of yo. course you know my assistant, Michelle. <laughs> yo, um, speaking of the fucking MacArthur and shit, bro. Like for me, leaving work at four thirty five, five thirty six o'clock in the morning. Yo, I see. It, it's always these fucking uh, drunk, reckless fuckos out there uh, driving terribly when I'm trying to go home. And they're drunk? Oh, my God. It's insane, we honestly. Should, yeah, there should sure. be, like, an incentive program to report them. There should be. Uh, at least, I mean, with stitches, with the snitches, you know, you at least you get a little money in the pocket. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's like, it's like I'll be having to very much, like, drive defensively and be alert to avoid shit, which I, I'm already, like, fucking tired, which, you know, it's also dangerous to drive tired. Anyways, that's not the point of me saying all this. Um... I was headed towards the MacArthur from the beach, right? Mm -hmm. And the road's mostly open, although there was, I think I want to say this is like Sunday night, so like Monday morning, or maybe Saturday night, Sunday morning. And the car that was like 40 feet ahead in the next lane, I'm going like, we're going like, you know, 50 miles per hour, or whatever. This motherfucker like stopped suddenly and swerved into my lane. I almost hit him. I was about to get pissed at him until I see why he had a swerve. It was two motherfuckers in the middle of the road fighting in the no. mid in the middle lane. No fucking way. No shirts. Oh my nice. god, bro! Miami at its realness. Oh yeah, I, I got I got to get my dash cam from the car. I I I, I got it on my. <laughs> so I can I can upload it. No I way! Ha I have to see that, Matt. <laughs> I have to see that. Yeah, I have to see that shot. Oh my god. But it's literally been an, some sort of accident or something every single week that I've gone home, like, for the past month. Like, yo, you, you know the you know the off-ramp um, from 395 to go to, to go I-95 South? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, last week, or maybe the week before, um, like, a motherfucker had crashed into the divider. Jesus. Jesus between Christ. like to go straight on to keep going 395 or to go i-95 south and now if you go by there and so they fuck their car fucking blocked the whole shit okay and then i don't know what was going on because it was i seen two people running down the side of the highway there was no one in the car when i came to pass by it but now it's like it's like there's no dividers it's like a fucking hole in the fucking cement oh <laughs> so God. so it's dangerous yeah People are so reckless these days. Like it's it's honestly kind of scary and sad. Yeah, I, I hate I I I, <laughs> I try to avoid going places as much as possible. The less time spent on the road, the better. Truthfully, I'm like Sue. I never get in accents or anything. I'm pretty good on the road. <clears throat> but man, it's fun to watch people crash. <laughs> Cat. Uh, what what books are you reading right now? What animes are you watching? I actually started watching Chase on Chainsaw Man. Really good. Yo, it's it's. I on, haven't it's seen. I haven't seen the new episode yet, and I've been dying to see it. I'm sorry to cut you What's off. What's it on? Uh, I've been watching it on Crunchyroll. I pay for that. Mm, you should watch it. Wash it? Why? It's good. Is it dirty? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but if you want some hentai rex, I got you. <laughs> Oh, tell us more. <laughs> Dude, watch Golden Boy. Oh. Oh, Cat knows. <laughs> Cat. You know Golden Boy? <laughs> I know of it. That's a good one. It's actually a funny show. I like it. Uh, I've been uh, watching uh, Banana Car Fish, too. It's really good. Sorry. Uh, Carlos was making me has been making me watch Golden Boy. We were watching it before you came. Really? Oh, that's what was on the TV? Yeah, yeah. And he nice. came. Actually, before you came, we came. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very educational. <laughs> 
No, but I was wondering what you were having on there because it looked really good for real. Oh, it's it old. It's old. It was good. It was giving me like Yu Yu Hakusho vibes. Mm. I'm watching Afro Samurai. Yo, I remember the first time I saw you ever seen Afro Samurai? Classic. <laughs> Ninja Scroll is really good too, Yo, but it's so a little graphic. I've, I've had someone tell me that's a really good one to watch, and I haven't had the chance to. Very graphic. Yo, so you be watching hentai? I like hentai. It's not bad. Uh, to me, it feels better than watching actual porn. It's, it's too realistic for me. Actual porn is too realistic? Well, not too realistic, just like it de- seeing. It desensitizes you? Yeah, it does. Interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that and also like, oh, what's it called? Lesbian porn? Terrible. It, it, it depends like how how intimate it is. If it seems genuinely intimate, um, it's, it's wait. Wh- why is us being porn terrible? Just like the way that they shoot it, terrible. And then like scissoring isn't a real thing. It's not. No. But and what about uh the double the double dildo back to back? That personally, I cannot speak on. From uh, requi- <laughs> requiem for a dream. Yeah, but even then, I personally probably wait. Like use like that. like what is that like? A double like. Double sided dildo. It's literally like a dildo but with like two heads on it. Yeah, and the so girls it's like, are like one long thing. And two and oh. girls are back to back. Oh. Mm-hmm. Back to <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> I've never used one of those, so I, I cannot personally. The, the say only it. time I saw it was in a really fucked up movie where everybody's addicted to heroin, <laughs> which is called Requiem for a Dream. It's a great movie. You should check it out. I was also watching Spun. I don't know if you've ever seen Spun. It's with John Leguizamo, Brittany Murphy. Um, I love Brittany Murphy. It's a really fucked up movie about people addicted to crystal meth. And fucking the guy that's s- selling to everybody is Mickey Rourke. This movie has a h- great... And uh, J- Jason Schwartzman is like the, is the main character. That's a great cast in that movie. Yeah, it's an amazing uh, lineup. Please watch the movie. It's fucked up. It's it's fucked up, but it's a good watch. Uh, Yo, just last week... Wait, was it last week? Have you heard me talk about last Christmas? No. All right, so this was last week. Yo, because I have, like, when it comes to me, my recollection of time and the placement of of events on the timeline of my life, I'm very much befuddled. Yeah, so this was last week. Um, uh, This movie came on, and it's not... It's not a movie I would have, like, gone to look for, you know what I'm saying? I just happened to be, whatever I was watching on TV before, like, this just came on. And I recognized Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones in a movie called Last Christmas. So I started watching. I thought you were going to tell me about your last Christmas. <laughs> I thought that's what he was actually talking about, too. <laughs> last Christmas, I gave you my heart. And the, um, I, thought, I thought y'all was going to. Come on, that was me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, yo, Matt. If if uh, I'll, I'll I'll sing it if you give me some music. I don't know the chords for it. Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's make something up. I'll, I'll figure it out. But um, <laughs> <laughs> what's the song called? Last Christmas. Okay. Yo, so I start watching this movie kind of like passively because I was kind of like getting ready to go somewhere, but all of a sudden. Like, I wasn't watching it passively anymore. I was fucking into it. And I watched it all the way to the end. And then it has this crazy, heart-wrenching uh, plot twist. And and that, you know, I, I, I was ugly crying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. And then I had to, I had to run it right back because I could kind of miss the beginning. So then I just watched the whole thing again. So I basically spent four hours watching one movie. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus. But it was like, it was, it was like, it was so, it was, it was such a good movie, man. Pulled out the heartstrings, huh? And it was, it's basically, uh, this chick, she had, she, she, she lives in, uh, England and her family are Yugoslavian, uh, immigrants and she had a heart transplant and like since then like her life's kind of been like a bit of a mess you know what i'm saying like she's been like couch surfing and uh you know like she's a singer she goes audition she's running late and she works at a year-round christmas store right um and then all of a sudden like she meets this guy and he just has this like super positive outlook on life 
and you know she starts to like get kind of happy and starts to kind of change her outlook on life and then like she wants to get like serious with him right you know like and he's like there's something i gotta tell you like you can't rely on me and she's like what is it like you know are you married are you gay like you know, just, just tell me right now. And then she, like, she gets... He's she like, ru- I'm married and I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> uh, she rushes off the strut. And then... um, And... But, like, her life has already started... She's already started to make, like, a positive change uh, in her life. And then it's revealed that... This guy... Has that, the same heart condition. No. Um, that was my guess. <laughs> it it takes you back all the moments she spent with him, and she was by herself. He wasn't really there. He was the person. And then it shows you oh. that night when she's being rushed into the hospital for the heart transplant, and it shows him because he's a bike courier, and he got hit by a bus. And it was Oh, hit, so he it, donated his, his heart, heart to her, and Aww. she's been seeing him, and that's... Yeah. That's fucking sad. And then and then he's like, um, you know, like, no matter what, my heart would have been yours. Oh, I'm, I'm going to start crying. Yeah, I'd be <laughs> ugly crying too, Matt. Damn. And then and then it ends, and because she had started volunteering, because she was looking for him one day, she couldn't <laughs> find him. And so she started volunteering at the homeless shelter that uh, he volunteered at. And then it ends, like, she put, they put on this, like, musical... And, you know, like, she reconciles with her parents and her sister and, you know, like, and with her boss, uh, Santa. It, it's a... So it's like a kind of, it's sad, but it's kind of feel good at the end. It's a wholesome movie. Yeah, it, it's, the like, the thing is, and it, there were moments, too, where I was like, it was like, the writing was, like, really witty and funny, you know what I'm saying? Nice. It, it was more than just, like, a sappy rom-com. Like, it wasn't sappy. You know what I'm saying? It was, and it was it was it was like a good movie, like through and through. Nice. I'm, oh, well, sounds, I was gonna it watch like it. Sounds like a good movie. I was gonna watch it, but you killed it. For me. You already you already spoiled it for me. So you gave us uh, the <laughs> ending to it. Spoiled it. Uh, right. Spoiled it. Let me see. I'm trying to find chords for you to play, to sing a lot, to sing the song to. No, none of these are working. You're gonna have to sing to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, favorite Christmas song. Go, cat. Santa baby. How does that go? Santa baby. Na-na-na. I can't sing that one. I can't even remember the lyrics. All that good. You want me, you want me look- Just to give for me. It's by Aretha Franklin. Santa baby, slip a sable under the tree for, for me. me. You see, it's a pretty. Being an awful good girl. Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Great song. You can listen Think to of all, all year round. The fun I've missed. <laughs> Think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed. Next year I could be just as good if you. See, I don't know. I don't know the the rhythm. What's your favorite uh, Christmas song? Um, I don't know. You don't have one. Mm. All I want for Christmas. Nah, that's not it. <laughs> I, I do have a song. I can't think of it right now, though. There's one that I can listen to all year round, and it's by Donny Hathaway. It's called This Christmas, and it's fucking amazing. It's an amazing song. It goes, <laughs> obviously, I wanted to sing this. <laughs> it goes, hang all the mistletoe. I'm gonna know you know better this Christmas. And we trim the tree. How much fun it's gonna be together this Christmas. The fireside is blazing bright. We're caroling through the night, and this Christmas. 
will be a very special Christmas for you and me. Shake your hand, shake your hand. Bro, <laughs> that shit, you can listen to it all year. It's a beautiful song. All right, so mine is last Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas? Or, oh, it's last Christmas. Last, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, and the very next day, you gave it away. So this year... To save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Santa. Special. Give it to Santa. Why would I give it to Santa? Because he'll never disappoint you. And he has a list. And he's not real. So it's impossible. <laughs> Yo, I, th- I, th- I thought you were going to say, and he has a big cock. <laughs> I don't know. I got to stop trying to finish people's sentences Yo, in my head. What the fuck? <laughs> That's something you know I would say. Funny, <laughs> 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 what? what? I was watching an episode of Big Mouth the other day, and they had like a <laughs> Christmas special, and they're like, there's going to be a couple things you're going to see in this episode, and one of them Santa's cock. Oh, uh, nice. It was it was actually kind of funny. I thought you were going to say it was actually pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> For an animated one. Mm-hmm. Yo, there's a Big Mouth Christmas special. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got, I got I gotta watch that. I haven't watched Big Mouth since the first season. They're like on the sixth season right now. Damn, six already? Shit has actually gotten Damn. it's got it's it has a pretty thick plot right now. Nick Kroll, John Mulaney. Yo, speaking of Christmas specials, I just wanna say the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special fucking sucked. Really? Yeah. I can't believe you actually watched those things. Sad. Like the little the little special the Groot special? No, I was no. watching the little Groot shorts. Those were super yeah, cute. Yeah, they were good. No, were there's really a Guardians of, the Galaxy, Ga- Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. How long is it? 44 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. But did, it, did it just come out? Yeah, a few days ago. All right. I think it came out, no, I think it came out on the 25th. So it's bad? Yeah. I mean, I hated it, but you should still watch it. Mm. I don't know if I'll Yo, watch but, it after that. But that, that's just because <laughs> I, 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 I religiously keep up with any and everything Marvel and MCU. I'm up to date. And DC. Eh, to a degree. I, I, I keep up with it, but not religiously. Yeah, not, uh, unless I'm, it's like a major release. I mean, you know I say that, but I have seen like many minor and all major DC releases. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Nobody. Never. We should, we should, you should just get the soundbite of that. Of you saying it? No, no, no. We'll get, we'll get Ben Stiller's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because that, that's actually what's it's stuck in my head. Of it's you saying it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> From like episode when, when you were here on like episode fucking like sixty four. Yeah. Shit. Oh my god! Don't remind me of the number of episodes. When you said one twenty nine, I was like, oh my god. Yo, cat. You know, according to Spotify, we put out like. 60,000. Say it was like 6,000 minutes. I'm sure. No, like 60,000. Oh, for real? Let me double check. That's insane. I got the outro music. That's right today. insane. I was born with a dick in my brain. Yeah, fucked in the head. My stepfather. Oh, I'm not going to sing those lyrics. Yo, that relapse album was crazy. And I mean that. In the best way possible. No, I mean that as crazy. <laughs> <Not> like, <laughs> yo, like as 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 uh as outrageous and raunchy as the first half, the the second half is very like you know that song beautiful. Are you talking about Eminem? Yeah, I haven't listened to Relapse. Never. Mm-mm. Mm. I'll listen to it. I promise. I work uh, tomorrow. I'll listen to it. Yo, like, just because I know you, I think you'll find it entertaining. Bro, try to be professional, bro. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yo, what the fuck was I looking up? Oh, yeah, that number. Uh, yo, um, I got that song stuck in my head now. <laughs> Which one? The Christmas one. Matt's favorite Which Christmas, Christmas one? Your <laughs> favorite Christmas song. Mine's stuck in the head. You want to build a snowman? Papa, do, do you, you hear me? me? Oh, it was just 6,000 minutes. Damn, I was fucking... 60,000 minutes. <laughs> I mean, I think 6,000 minutes is enough. That's actually like a crazy amount of time for real. Wait, so six, <laughs> He's like, 60,000 minutes? I was like, uh. 6,514. That's just this year, 2022. 
All right, divide that by 60. So 108.5 hours. Uh, I mean, that's only like five days. My wife just uh just texted me. She put, on my way home, love you. Yeah, no, they texted me. They're about to start rehearsing. All right, I got the outro music for today. What? Mm-hmm. what? I don't know if I played this yet on here. Are we, uh, do we have any take backs or anything? Take backs? What do you mean? I'm just kidding. Or right, anything we like, to, are we going to wrap up? Yeah. Anything you'd like to add? Cat, you got anything? No, not really. I've just been enjoying the conversation. Is uh is uh good to have you back here again. Good to see you again. Have a oh seat no, in a minute. Oh no, it was great. Thank you for having me. I I really appreciate it. it. Made me very happy to hear from you. It was great to have you, Cat. Oh. Good times. Oh. Uh, I do want to say uh to the people still listening uh all the way through at this point um <laughs> <laughs> your soldiers <laughs> we commend you your god soldiers <laughs> keep doing the lord's work and now um, you know anything is possible <laughs> god gives his toughest warriors to his toughest soldiers yeah. yo you seen that meme with the guy on the phone <laughs> he's like <laughs> me calling god asking him to take me off the list of his strongest warriors for 2020 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo, I, I was talking to to my uh, ex-girlfriend the other day from high school who I haven't seen in like a decade. And like, it was like, it came up in a conversation. Like I sent her a meme. Busy, I- and I was like, yo, like, just so you know, like I'm, I'm what they refer to as a meme lord. And she, and she was like, nobody fucking calls you that. But, <laughs> but little does she know. You know, on the on the interwebs, I'm really about that life. <laughs> I try to tell them. But um, yo, uh, yo, you you can go ahead and play the music. I'll just I'll just talk through the beginning. Oh, there's talking on it, so no. Oh. Uh, to anybody that noticed, because Hiram did that last week's episode cut off abruptly at 51 minutes, and it was not a natural ending. That's because it did cut off abruptly because the computer ran out of space. Because I had neglected to move some video files, several video files off the computer onto SSD external storage. So the computer just ran out of storage and stopped recording. So if you didn't know, now you know. You know very well who you are. Go busy out here chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm thugged out, nigga, but I just seen a motherfucker, motherfucker, Rainbow, you, nigga. I ain't that motherfucker. Yeah, you know, nigga, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. My baby mama probably at the end of that bitch with a gold freaking ass. From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. <laughs> <laughs> From Shrooms to Skyrim from Matthew and Hiram. Oh, that was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Big man, cake man.